Yeah, so I ended up getting to Alabama um, in like mid mid December. I went with them to the bowl game. Uh, I got to practice a little bit, run a little scout team there, and then uh, ended up after Coach Saban retired. Um, had I think I had like seven days before I entered the transfer portal, and um, I only had a couple days in the portal. It was a uh, it was a quick decision, and uh, made, I definitely made the right decision coming up here. And I uh, just you know it came in a lot of factors, but really I just wanted to be. At a school with great tradition, uh, great quarterback history, and somewhere I can develop. There was a point where I think Ohio State tried to flip you a year ago, and you were just adamant on <coughs> going to play for Saban and to go to Alabama. So when Nick Saban is no longer in the picture, because you said it was quick, did you kind of know where you were going to head? And so it just was a matter of, was it a mutual interest thing between mm -hmm. Ohio State? Yeah, when I entered the portal, uh, I, I knew Coach Day. We had a good relationship throughout the recruiting process. And then uh, Bill O'Brien was actually the offensive coordinator here, and I had a good relationship with him. And then uh, I ended up getting here, and then Coach Kelly comes here, and me and him had a good relationship through the recruiting process, you know, California, UCLA. So uh, it was just a good fit all around, and I just couldn't be happy to be here. After the spring game, Chip said the biggest compliment he could give you was that you just don't seem like a freshman. If people didn't know you don't look like a freshman. Do you still feel like that now? I know it's your first camp. Or, or, I mean, is, are you kind of in a whirlwind right now, or do you still feel like you have a pretty good command of where things are? Um, I feel like, you know, I'm just taking it one day at a time, uh, just trying to take the main to the field, like Coach Day always says. Um, you know, taking the coaching points that uh, like Coach Kelly and Coach Day give me, and then uh, also learning from our older guys. You know, Will and Devin have uh, been here. Uh, they play a lot of football, and so just uh, taking their points, and then uh, trying to put it out in the field. When you when you end with the portal after you said you waited seven days and you finally do go in, what's that like? How much, like did you hear from a bunch of schools? Like was your phone blowing up? What's I that? mean, it was it was a little bit crazy. Uh, you know, I was I was only in for about two days because uh, I had to make a quick decision just because of the classes starting uh, in January. So uh, it was definitely a uh, definitely kind of a crazy time, but uh, definitely made the right decision. Julian, was Nick really the primary reason why you left? Um, I would say yes. Uh, I came play with Coach Saban. Um, uh, we had a great relationship through the recruiting process and uh, loved him, loved Coach Saban, and I uh, really wanted to go play for him. Um, and, you know, just the new staff that came in, we didn't have a relationship uh, prior to the prior to when I got there, so uh, I just felt like it was the best decision for me to come out here. So what was it about Ohio State staff that maybe correlated between what you were going into with Alabama that you felt you could transition I felt like uh, there was there's really good quarterback development here. Uh, Coach Day, great quarterback whisperer. You know the quarterbacks they've had in just the past five years uh, have shown they put up great numbers and uh, just really done things the right way. And uh, I wanted to come in this offense, be coached by him, be coached by Coach Kelly. Uh, you know, make adjustment to the line, that type of thing. The staff, the staff at the staff at Alabama had been at Washington previously. Had Washington not been in contact? I hadn't been in much or? contact with them, um, and they weren't, they weren't really a. Uh, I, I didn't really know that staff very well. Julian, one of the things that Coach Day says is that you don't like to have your hand held in any kind of process. Now you you played up in age a lot of time in your football career. What is it about you that drives you to want that hard coaching? Um, I would say, you know, in high school, uh, I had a coach that, you know, he would uh, give me a lot of responsibility and uh, he would, you know, put a lot of put a lot of responsibility on me, make make things hard on me. And so I just, you know, I want to be the best quarterback I can be and uh, take take the meeting to the field, do things the right way and uh, just do things on my own. Julian has a five star prospect you get compared to a lot of quarterbacks. Who do you watch? Who do you study? Who do you model your game after? Um, I love watching Joe Burrow. You know, he makes uh, adjustments to the line. He's a really good decision maker. Um, I like Justin Herbert, you know, uh, Chargers fans. So I like watching him play. Um, some of those guys in the NFL are just, you know, good decision makers who uh, can make things on the fly. Personality-wise, are you kind of vocal? Are you more quiet, reserved? How would you describe yourself? I would say I'm a little bit more quiet, but I'm working on the vocal side. You know, uh, Coach Day is trying to get me to be more of a vocal leader out there with the guys, uh, even though I'm only a freshman, just trying to be a trying to be a leader for everyone. Julian, you have a little confidence, like you've mentioned, Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow. Definitely, it's definitely a quiet confidence. Uh, definitely uh, confident in your ability to play. I know, what are your thoughts about Columbus so far? Did you have any preconceived notions about Columbus, and what do you, what do you think so far? I actually, I think I've only been here once in the recruiting process, and uh, I, I love it out here. Uh, really good food, good places, good places to be, hang out with friends. Uh, a lot, a lot of good stuff out here. When, when did you visit as a recruit? I think I visited maybe freshman or sophomore year. For like uh, a camp? Yeah, just just for like a camp or a visit, just uh, just to see the facilities. Um, so it was really good to get out here and uh, loving it. Yeah. I know it was only a few days, but being in that Alabama program, especially as they prepared for a college football playoff run, what did you take away from that short period of time working? There? Yeah, it was uh, it was really good with uh, you know Coach Reese and Coach Saban. They were. Uh, they were coaching players hard, and I, I saw the uh, the work it takes to get to the uh, the playoffs, and then coming here, um, just seeing the older guys put in the work, and uh, throughout the, throughout the winter, you know, seeing our older guys, our older leaders, put in the work, and uh, showing they have what it takes. How much of a relationship did you have with Air? Obviously, coming in, he had been committed. You come in, you're both freshmen. Just what it, 
what was it like before and, and what's your relationship guys like now? We didn't have much relationship prior. Uh, we, we made each other the lead 11, uh, yeah. knew each other a little bit. And then coming in here, you know, uh, the quarterback room, everyone here is really close. So it's, uh, we're all pushing each other to be better. Um, we're all we're all taking coach points from each other, trying to be, trying to get better. Did Coach Saban's retirement catch you by surprise, or were you kind of suspecting it in the weeks right prior? I would say we were caught by surprise. Uh, you know, coming back from the uh, from the game, there was there was a little bit high spirits because of the team returning, um, and then it was kind of caught by surprise. How did you what feel you when that? How did you feel when that happened? Because he was the coach you wanted to play for. You were just signed weeks before, like. Just personally, how did, how did you process all that? Um, there was definitely a lot of emotions, but uh, I had my family to lean on. Uh, they helped me through it, and uh, I was able to make the right decision and uh, end up here, and I'm loving it. Julian, two more questions. When, not saying that you will or will not play this year, but as a true freshman, what do you think it takes to force your way onto the field here? You know, um, I can't really ex explain how that how that would be. Um, I'm just really trying to develop and uh, take coach points from Coach Day, you know, great quarterback whisper, and then uh, take coach points from Coach Kelly too. You know, I just uh, want to develop and uh, run the offense the way they want it, and uh, just take take their coaching points and uh, try to put it into my game. When you look at your skill set, what you bring to the table, I know that you want to develop, and continue to get better, but what do you think? What about your game do you think translates to college football immediately? I think that I can be a really good decision maker for. Uh, for the offense and someone who the offensive coordinator can trust. Is this, Last question. They called you, uh, you mentioned your ability to process. Is that a natural thing or is that like, because you're getting film guy? What, what, take us through that process of that ability that, as you're talking about the decision making factor. I think uh, it's it's kind of a lot of things. Um, and I was always around football. My my brother's a quarterback at Penn. So he was a quarterback when I, when I was in high school and uh, I was kind of following his footsteps. So I've always been around football. And then uh, just been a high level offense since high school and just uh, really just having a lot of my play. All right, Julia, thank you.